Hey guys, so it's Michael again over here with Home Health Success Academy. We're like, Home Health Success Academy is here to be able to help you guys have a successful home care, home health, or hospice agency. And our goal is to be able to work with your company and give you guys so much information so that you know you can see how valuable it is to be able to get the commitment to actually start working with you guys and help you guys to create the agency that you know you deserve, that you know you want. Remember, look, home health marketing, not hard at all if you know what you're doing. So, you know, keep on watching our videos and let us help you guys out and attend one of our future big events, you know, our live events or attend one of our virtual, you know, marketing event sessions. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about appearance, okay? You know, I want you guys to understand that you want to be comfortable with what you wear, okay? And I, and I heard so many, and I've actually heard or I've actually been to you know, several seminars or several classes in marketing and management and business management. And a lot of these big wigs are going to tell you guys that location, location is very important. Where you choose your location is one of the most important thing. Where you have your store, where you have your business, where you have your company. In, in our home health industry, in our home care industry, hospice industry, our office space doesn't really matter much because most of our clients will never come to our office. Most of our referral sources will never come to our office. So our office space, our location would be the service area that we provide, okay? That is our location in regards to geographic wise, geographic, where, where we provide our services. But our business location in regards to our storefront is literally in front, is really our our staff, our employees, especially our marketers and our liaisons, those people that are actually, you know, in the door talking with a lot of the referral sources or trying to give those presentations. So those are very important to make sure that we are actually, you know, training them. We're actually giving them the right tools that they need. And but you know when we talk about appearance, I want to be able to share with you guys a quick story. I got hired by a company and asked me to help them because they've been struggling. And when I came to the office to have the one-on-one -on -one meeting, I told them, "Look, what I want to do is, I, you know, you guys been in business for a while. Um, what I want to do is I want to be able to find out who your marketer is." And the owner, who was also the administrator, told me that he is the marketer. And I said, okay, well, you know, are you planning to go marketing today? And he said, well, yes, let's let's go out there. And I said, I want to be able to see what you're doing to see maybe are there some things that we can tweak because um, I looked at brochures. They were pretty decent. The website was really nice. Um, they had a couple, you know, nice handouts that they actually give out. They have some, you know, nice pens and a couple mugs that they, they like to use to be able to give out to people. And when we were about to go out, he was wearing a graphic tee and, you know, some dark, you know, jeans. And the jeans were expensive jeans because I, I, I've always wanted to purchase those type of jeans, but they were a little expensive for me. Um, and But I asked him, I said, look, are you going to be wearing this during our marketing or are you going to be changing? And what he said was, well, this is what I'm going to be wearing. And I asked him, well, is this typically what you wear um, when you go out marketing or when you go out networking during business days? And he says, yes. And, and I said, are you comfortable wearing this? And he said, yeah, I'm comfortable. And I talked to you guys earlier about being comfortable. So it's okay to be comfortable. But we also have to be savvy and understand that what we're comfortable on or with is different from what people are comfortable with. And at the same time, as if we're trying to be able to gain somebody's business, we need to look the part. We need to be able to look business-like. I'm not telling you guys to purchase you know, $400, $1,000 suits out there. I wouldn't purchase those, and at the same time, is why would you want to overdo it that way? But you want to come correct on how you dress up. You know, I've walked into companies, into other agencies where everybody is just wearing whatever they want to wear. You know, I make it a purpose where nobody's allowed to wear jeans in my office. I want to be able to make sure that everybody is always going to come correct. So it always starts from within to be comfortable, but at the same time as you need to be able to make sure that your marketers and your liaisons out there are actually dressing correctly and not just wearing whatever they want to do. And you know, it you will never see your marketers every day because you expect them to be out there in the field finding clients, finding referral sources, finding patients. And so you need to be able to make sure that you create a dress code for your staff 
you know, and that's very important, especially for your marketers and liaisons. Now, in the job description, you probably wrote must wear appropriate, you know, outfit or appropriate uniforms. You know, just because you said that, you need to be more detailed. Look, people will always look at these policies and procedures, these job descri descriptions, and will try to kind of adjust it to what works in their head. So sometimes you have to be more specific of what you don't expect them to wear. You know, if you want me to share with you guys, um, I actually have a, um, a quick video that I talk about the powerful psychology of colors. And so there are several types of colors that we actually make sure our staff members wear if they're meeting somebody for the first time. Um, there's several colors that we don't want them wearing on a daily basis when they're out there talking to, you know, referral sources or potential referral sources. Um, so there's, you know, several things that you guys can actually add and custom to your marketing techniques. And psychology is a very, very big thing when it comes to sales and marketing. You know, one thing that I like to tell people, purple is always great to have. Purple or that purple pink hue. Um, and the reason for that is purple is the color of what? Royalty. And so sometimes if you look at it, you know, when people look at purple, it makes them want to spend. It makes them want to share. You know exactly so you want them to share patients and share their clients and share with you information that you definitely need um, so one one great example of how purple is used is if you go to Las Vegas for example right where they want you to give 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 your money if you start seeing a lot of the lights that they use are purple and pink a lot of the strip you're gonna see a lot of purple color okay inside um, the Hotels, you're going to see purple carpeting. You're going to see purple in a, a lot of the machines. You're going to see some of the staff members wearing purple and pink. It makes people want to spend or share. To So to be able to kind of get into the psyche of someone, it's very important to talk about that. Now, when we also talk about a lot of the psychology of things, so I want you to be able to understand something that I want to share with you guys is that there's four types of personality and and before I get to that let's talk about when you meet somebody for the first time you know you already made a decision with a matter of 15 seconds if you like that person or not so what you want to be able to do is to be able to be within a few seconds to get that person to like you instantly right you want them to like you and so when we talk about liking you um, you want to be able to understand there's four types when you meet somebody number one when you meet them, it's either you like them, that you can see something similar with them, that you might want to be able to hang out with them, that you might want to be able to do business with them. Number two, you see a person within 15, 10, 15 seconds, I don't like this person. I don't like their hair. I don't like what they're wearing. I don't like so-and-so making all these excuses. You already don't like him. Number three, I don't really know. I don't know if I like him. I don't know if I don't like him. I'm still trying to figure this person out. Number four, somebody that you would be attracted to, somebody that you see as a potential partner, as a potential significant other. Now in business, we never deal with the number four, okay? We don't mix business with personal. So that's out the door in business. So let's look at the first three, okay? So if a person, if I can get the person to like me, great. That's what I wanna be able to do right away. If they don't like me, that's okay. Why? It's because I can show them so many different things. I can be able to work with them and show them the quality and why my company is good for them so that they can begin liking me. See, you want to be able to know what your position is automatically when you meet someone. The third one is the hardest part, which is the indecisive. The person doesn't know if they like me or not yet. And so that's where it's going to be a little bit hard because first I need to know what my position is, is when I first meet you. So it goes the same exact way of anything else. So you you want to be able to make sure you come dressed correct right away. I'm not a fashionista. I'm not a person who's good at that. That's what I make sure I go to men's warehouse for. That's what I do to make sure I ask friends who dress good and say, hey, what colors works with what? That's why I go to a lot of websites to be able to kind of figure and pick out an outfit already that's already made. Um, that's how I make it easy for me. There's a lot of websites out there that I can say, like, this is what I like. They put everything together. Here's an outfit solves my problems you know so for the guys like no graphic tees all right for the women i'm sure that you guys do a great job looking well um but the guys always need more help and just wanted to also make sure look just come correct come you know go in there you know literally feeling confident but at the same time is looking great um, you don't have to wear that $400 suit, like I said. You don't have to buy that $1,000 bag, you know, just to be able to go in there. 
Just go in there with a positive attitude, feeling great, dressed well, and with great information, and be able to be willing to share information with them to be able to what? Take care of their patients because you want to care for their patients and be great at it. So this is a quick marketing tip. Make sure, make sure, do not be wearing some sweatpants at, to work or wanting to go out in that during Mondays to Fridays. That's all I ask. All I ask. Graphic tees, guys, leave it at home, okay? Not needed at work. So I just want to share with you guys because when I when I met this person, I saw that happens. And I told them that I'm going to be making a video of this um, because, you know, it's a must. And I just wanted to help people out. So you guys have a great day. I'm headed out to St. Louis um, for our live event over there. So if you guys are around that corner, we already put some advertisement out there. I hope you guys join us. Have a beautiful day, guys. You guys take care, all right?